Okay, I'm over here in Hugo, Oklahoma, and there's a cemetery here called the Mount Olive Cemetery, and it is famous for having a section dedicated to circus performers. And it's quite interesting. Some of these graves are pretty elaborate, and I'm going to show you a few of them. Here's one. I think it's so interesting how they um, adorned these headstones. You can see there's a bunch of elephants on top of uh, these headstones here. See here, they've got tigers on the top there, inscribed. Apparently the Miller family had a lot of circus performers. It's a husband and wife looks like and it has a symbol of like a wedding ring. Here's one that looks like a circus tent. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. But it's definitely a miniature circus tent. I think this one's really, really interesting. Oh, well, here's one. But this is my favorite of this whole place here. I mean, I just think that's amazing how they carved this so like just so perfect and I don't know what is contained in here but it doesn't say maybe it doesn't contain anything This one's pretty cool too. Uh, on this side, he's like a, a tightrope walker, I guess. You can see the rope and uh, like an umbrella. It's very, very interesting headstones here. I mean, they're really quite interesting to me. You just don't see, uh, look at this. 
is just so unusual and so unique. Uh, the story behind Hugo is that these, I don't know if it was one circus or multiple circuses, but the story goes that back in the day, they used to have a train. So these circus people would all go by train. And, you know, the circus didn't perform in the wintertime. So they would uh, park here over the, like, off season. And that's how Hugo, Oklahoma became famous for circus people because, oh, this is like, this is pretty fresh. Wow. Mud Show Elephant Man. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, it's an unusual place that most people don't really get to see. But yeah, it's just a it's just a small part of this much larger cemetery, so it's not the entire cemetery that's dedicated to this. It's just a portion of it. But it's pretty easy to find. Uh definitely located in the middle of nowhere. Uh Hugo, Oklahoma is not near anything you would typically go <laughs> go visit. But if you happen to be near Paris, Texas, for example. <clears throat> this is not that far from Paris, Texas. So if you're in that part of Texas in the north part, uh, maybe it's worth a detour if you're interested in such a place. <laughs> 